What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have very good news for those of you who are waiting for CheckRain to be updated for more devices on iOS 14.2, 14.1, 14.0 and stuff like that. A new CheckRain version has been released and it does have support for all iOS 14 versions but also for more devices including the A10, A10X and even A11 to some extent. CheckRain team posted a couple of minutes ago quote CheckRain 0.12.0 released with many under the hood improvements, a SEPROM exploit for the A10 and A10X on iOS 14 and iOS 14.2 to support grab it in here so basically the official website has been updated you can now get the 0.12.0 and of course if you look here at the highlighted changes it says official support for iOS 14.1 and 14.2 which iOS 14.2 is currently the latest version available released only a couple of days ago and then it says in here official support for the A10 and A10X devices on iOS 14 now previously for those of you who are unaware the iOS 14 support was rather limited on the the check rain only a couple of devices like the iPhone 6s, the iPhone SC and 6s Plus were supported on the iOS 14 and the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPad 6 and 7 generation, iPod Touch 7 and of course iPad Pro 2nd generation these were going to be supported in a later release but were not supported at that point and then of course the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10 were not supported at all. Now with this update in here this adds support for the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPod Touch 7 generation, the iPads and Stuff like that everything with a10 or a10x chip but also for the a11 to some extent it says in here quote limited support for a11 devices on ios 14 for that you have to go to options and skip a11 bpr check We're going to talk about what bpr is in a second and there's now a quick mode as well so do keep in mind that the official support for the a10 and a10x devices means that this comes as they see in here with a seprom exploit what this means is that you can finally have a passcode or touch id and stuff like that and you don't have to use any modified check rain versions that were floating around. But for the A11 devices, and those are the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, for those devices you can jailbreak them with check rain, although it's not exactly very good for the moment. The check rain said, quote, additionally we added a checkbox to disable BPR checks on A11. This is not recommended and your device won't boot with a passcode, but it's there. So what exactly is the BPR and why I have to skip it on A11 for this to work? Well, the BPR stands for boot progress register and it's actually a set of flags that are being set depending on what mode your device is on. For example in DFU mode it's set one way, in recovery mode it's set another and stuff like that. It's actually pretty well documented here on the Apple platform security and you can find it in here, the uh, boot progress register and it's used by the secure enclave processor or basically set. So once this flag is set there is no way for it to be cleared. So anything down the line would know whether that is set or not and it would know for example if the device was booted from DFU mode and this is why we have to skip it so that the check rain can boot from DFU mode. Now the new check rain does have a new quick mode which adds a timer you can play with that a little bit later and then here in the options there is a new check called skip A11 BPR check. This would allow you to actually jailbreak the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 plus and the iPhone 10. Do keep in mind the check rain will never support and has never supported the A12 or newer devices but at this point it's possible to jailbreak iOS 14 on the iPhone 10, iPhone iPhone 8, iPhone 7 and stuff like that. Even though on the iPhone 10 and on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus you do need to skip the A11 BPR check in here which will result in you not being able to set a passcode. So this is a huge update adding a lot of support for more devices and even for the iOS 14.2 so they did indeed burn a lot of important stuff for this version. Definitely a very huge version. Now yes this doesn't support Windows for the moment as they mentioned here on the website it says quote this beta is only available for Mac OS and Linux. Work is ongoing to support Windows which will be added in a later release. But they did mention in a podcast that working on Windows is actually very hard, there are some issues with the USB devices, so I don't think we're going to get a Windows version anytime soon, at least not in the near future. So yeah, that's basically it. Finally, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, these are all supported at this point, which is actually quite great. For the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you can even have a passcode but for the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 you cannot have a passcode for the moment so if you want to jailbreak on the iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 disable your passcode first and of course you have to disable the fingerprint or the touch ID as well so yeah that's basically it thank you for watching I am Geosnow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out